Welcome to Cooking with the Buckeye Chef, and I'm your host, I am Prophecy, and we have the chef off to the side getting everything ready for you. It smells good as normal in the kitchen. And we do have a guest taster today. Um, I'm going to leave the name anonymous, but she does do some home cooking, so um, when she comes out, make sure to give a good shout out for that. And we have two forms of egg benedict today, so, oh yeah, and a breakfast hash, so let's just see how that happens. And here's the chef himself, coming out now. What's going on, everybody? Cooking with the Buckeye Chef is back once again. Some brunch time. Kind of hungry. Start so early. Not quite. But after lunchtime, we have two forms of egg benedict. We have the traditional way, and we have a veggie option way. A little spring mixed greens, grape tomatoes. Really awesome, really good. And then we also have some breakfast hashed potatoes. We're going to go in as well for you today. Oven cranked on 375. I have some pots behind me with water going for my eggs and for my holiday sauce for the eggs benedict. So, are you excited? I know I am. So let's get cooking. Today also have a special guest who's gonna come on, taste some amazing eggs benedict, and also is gonna help you do a little bit of prep. So stay tuned for that as well too. And we have a special drink today, uh, mimosas. We have the regular way, and we have the virgin way for people who don't want alcohol. So, so we're gonna get started coming up right now. We're gonna get our eggs going and also our breakfast hash. Breakfast hash first gonna take a few minutes, so we're gonna get that cut up and get it going. So for that, have a little bit of onion, jalapeno, and we're gonna have some potato. Potato, if you cut them small, you don't have to worry about blanching them off, boiling them, getting them real soft, cut them small and cook them in the pan, they'll get soft automatically. So we have our mixing bowl we're going to have to cut up all the onions, jalapenos, and potatoes. So we'll get started with that going on today. So we're going to make small slits, small strips in this potato, and small meaning about like this guys, cut it about like this thick, and then we're going to cut it up in small dices Really easy for browning and cooking all the way through. So I continue with that potato. Cutting it small, lengthwise. It's almost like we're cutting julienne again, all over again, which we've done on a few other shows there. So once you get that going, guys, you take it, cut it in your julienne strips, really small and tiny, and then small dice all the way through. And see? You'll have some really small dices like so right there guys. Really easy. Cook nice. Real simple. We'll get that into the bowl. And we'll finish cutting up this other potato right here. And the seasoning is just gonna be basic salt and pepper. Cause you're gonna have the heat from the jalapeno. So you don't have to worry about that. And the onion, a little bit of flavor from there. Sweetness, good onion. Potatoes cut up right here. Onions, same way, small dice. You have to use the whole onion, you can save some more for later. And we just go through small dice all the way down. Jalapeno, very spicy, can be. So we cut the end off down the middle. Be sure when you do your seeds to wash your hands afterwards, otherwise, you go touch your face touch somebody else's face, they're gonna be on fire, they'll be burning, and they'll be pissed at you, or you'll be pissed at yourself for forgetting to wash your hands. Better before in the kitchen, I actually uh, jalapeno and got busy, and then wiped my eye in the kitchen, and it was on fire. It was for, uh, I got messed up, but it wasn't a jalapeno, it was a habanero. So, I, it pretty much destroyed me, and I had my face underneath the wash sink for a good, like, 10 minutes going on there. And we just finished dicing this up as well too. Get that going. A 
everything is all set to go. A good breakfast hash right there. I'm gonna just saute this up, brown it up, season it, salt and pepper. We're gonna use our EVO squared. If you wanna add more to it, you can throw in some crumbled up bacon. Throw in a little bit of sausage if you want to. And then there you go. So, I'm gonna get my skillet going nice and hot in the back here. I'm gonna wash my hands. And then we're gonna get started cracking eggs. Cracking eggs is fun. Hold on. So, I think my guest is gonna come on and help me out for the rest of this show here. And gonna help me perform some things. I'm gonna get the eggs out for you guys. She's gonna wash your hands, I'm gonna introduce her. And we're gonna have some fun just cooking together today. And right here, I have a pot going with hot water, which I'm gonna use to make my hollandaise sauce. Um, go about, about half full right there. Other pot I have for poaching my eggs. I'm gonna flavor that water, a little bit of white vinegar, and then some white wine. If you don't have white, white wine, we're using like uh, sparkling wine or some champagne. You can put a little bit of that into the water as well. Substitute if you don't have white wine at home. And then a little bit of salt and pepper, you're good to go. So, my friend's gonna come on. She's gonna help me out. I'm gonna have her assist me while I start cracking up some eggs going on. And for these eggs Benedict, we're gonna use about five to six whole eggs. Come on. Come on? Yeah. Okay. This is Artemis. Hi. She's out of South Lake. And tell a bit about yourself. First of all, for that, um, we're going to separate the whites I... from the yolks. Okay. So we're going to have six yolks in here. Okay. And the reason why we separate a hollandaise sauce uses yolks. And you want to separate it. And if you save your whites, you can go ahead and have your whites for like an omelet or for something else later down the road. So I cook all the time. So. What kind of foods do you make when you're at home? Oh, I make international food, a lot of Asian food. Oh, right here. Oh, in there, okay. Yeah. A lot of um, some African food, okay. some Mexican food, some Persian food, a lot of Middle Eastern food. Wow. Yeah. And, and then I bake. What brought on this big cultural uh, cuisine diversity? I love the world. Love the world. So you're a big traveler. I like to eat it too. You're a big traveler. Yes, I, okay. love to, I love the world and I love to eat it too. Okay. So name some places that you've been for these. For uh, Egypt and Israel and um, been everywhere in South America. Five, right? Yeah, so we go six, we go six today. Six, okay. Yeah. So, oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. And then, um, wow, this is like taking a lot of concentration. So, I, oh, I, I ruined it. It's okay. Sorry, babe. <laughs> okay. It's okay if you mess up. Eggs can be a little temperamental sometimes. The yolk doesn't always stay together, which you kind of crack through. It's okay. You That's sure fine. you don't yeah. want to take it out? So. I obviously can't eat, I obviously can't cook and talk at the same time. Takes a talent. <laughs> uh, just I guess used to it in the kitchen, and as we go through everything. So next, you get five or six eggs in here. Okay. We're gonna half this lime. Okay. I mean lemon. Sorry. Okay. Take your lemon. These have seeds, guys. So be careful. Go ahead and just squeeze it through. If you have any cuts on your hand. You'll know because uh, that that citric acid from the lemon will definitely point out any cut you have. So after you get that going, then we're going to whisk this together. You kind of beat it. Um, want to half those for me? Okay. I'll have you actually have three of these. Perfect. See, you notice he's not asking me any more questions. 
was gonna say, what kind of stores do we have to go to here in the Metroplex? Because uh, we're at the DFW once again. We're in Fort Worth. She's in South Lake, which is a suburb of Fort Worth. And we always like to see where you have to go shop, what kind of stores you go to here in the Metroplex. Well, if you want to buy chocolate, which is my favorite thing to buy, then Whole Foods is the place. Okay. But otherwise, I'm at Central Market almost every day, um, getting all those fresh ingredients. And um, sometimes I like to shop at the Asian markets in Irving. Okay. So, because you know they have the, the really like if you like um, if you like basil and you know all those greens, you know the green yeah. the green leafy, you know you can get those so cheap at the Asian markets, like maybe a fourth of the price. Nice. So. Shop at Asian markets, save money. And right here we have going on. We have the we're gonna put these in the oven and get them nice and toasted. Little brown, right here. Not yet. Hold Not on yet. Okay. Right, here. right here, guys. All I did I had the yolks and I had the lemon juice. I just kind of beat it a little bit till it gets thick. And then I'm gonna next. I'm gonna beat it over the double boiler. And all that means is I have my hot water in the back. Gonna get that going and just kind of whisk it over. But before that, I also have my breakfast hash pan in the back. So we're gonna add some EVO square to the back here. And then we're going to add our breakfast hash and get that one. It's going to take a few minutes to go. And then I try, we just kind of wash it. It's going to take almost as little time that we use for all this to kind of brown it. And the reason why we do this is because we cut the potatoes small so they'll cook nice and through. You don't have to worry about like when you get them real soft or get crunchy, so yeah. that'll work. That's gonna take a while. So in here, guys, we have this going on. You have like a stainless steel bowl. If you can hold it by your hand, you can, or if you want to use a towel, use a towel and kind of go through. So tell me about some of the restaurants, or tell them about the restaurants you'd like to go to here in DFW, that you like to go out and venture to, and different styles that you that you actually like to eat at here in the Metroplex. Okay, so I like, recently I've really liked this Arab food a restaurant. It's an, eight, it's an Indian place in um, Irving off MacArthur. And they have fantastic um, South Indian cuisine. And um, so recently I've liked that. And um, I like, um, of course, there's so many different places. But I think that, you know, the, the, um, the ethnic food, um, seen here in DSW is really underrated. There's really a lot of wonderful ethnic places that really don't get all the stars they should. Because, you know, they're just not in a place where maybe people, they have as much clientele as they could. Yeah, it's not mainstream enough. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. Okay. And be careful, guys, as you go through this, not to have your eggs sit there too long. Otherwise, they'll scramble. So be sure to put it on the heat and take it off a little bit and go back to the heat. And you're gonna get it till it gets thick, and you'll see what I mean here in oh, just a couple minutes. Oh, those look beautiful. Show them. Yeah, we're just kind of going through here. See, they're sort of cooked a little bit. Yeah, they're gonna get really thick here in a few minutes, but you kind of go back and forth. Otherwise, you're gonna have scrambled eggs in here, and that's not really hollandaise. But they're beautifully cut. Yeah. I'm gonna have you take a minute and use this. Right there. The breakfast hash. There we go. The flavors there smells like breakfast in here right now, guys. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. You so wish you were here. You have no idea. Oh, you can really smell that wonderful jalapeno. You know, if you ever get the jalapeno in the eye, take your girlfriend's hair or your mom's hair and rub it in your in, into your face or wherever it's burning. And it, it's an old Mexican trick. Oh. And um, and the, and it immediately takes the burn away. Or if you touch someone else's face, or even if it even works with habanero, just take the take the beautiful long hair and just rub it wherever you hurt yourself. You learn something every day, guys. It's probably not very sanitary though. No, not at all. But it takes the pain away. Okay, let that sit for a few minutes. Turn okay. it down just a second. The we'll potatoes are almost done in here. I'm gonna have you put the in the oven. Okay. So we're gonna put it in the oven just for a few minutes. We we'll get that going. I'm 
And like I said, we always use 375 in the kitchen unless we cook up the 400 for other reasons. I'm just gonna close for a few minutes. I'm gonna have you help me make some green onion over okay. here. I'm gonna take one cutting board away. Add that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this, we're going to use some small dice. We're just gonna use this for garnish. Okay. And so, what I mean, show you guys real quick. Just gonna take them and just gonna go like that. Okay, perfect. And I just want some rings, guys, like so. This is gonna be for a garnish for the eggs benedict. And we'll just put them right there in the ring. If you need more, I have some more in the fridge. And I'm gonna finish off this hollandaise sauce. Go for it. All right. As you see, cooking can be fun no matter if you bring somebody with you, kind of have a little party. You can have a party with people in the kitchen. So the Buckeye chef taught me some knife skills before I got here, and actually it's pretty good. Just say holding a knife correctly kind of helps you out to prevent hurting yourself in the kitchen. Always want to try and practice as much safety as you can so you don't hurt yourself. As we go through, the eggs are going to get kind of frothy. Starting to double up in volume, getting real nice and frothy. About a minute away real quick right now from being done. Very nice. We're going to take this, we're going to season that with a pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper. We have the seasonings right there. We have okay. salt and pepper. Pinch of both right here. Okay. A big pinch of pepper. There we go. There we go. There you go guys, see just about ready to go. Looks really, really good right there. That's gonna sit. Eggs are just about ready to go. So as I go now, guys, I take the eggs and I slowly add some butter, melted butter. As you go through, continue whisking it. And it's gonna get slowly thicker as we go along. And just hold it someplace nice and warm for yourself, for your egg benedict. Turn your water off. You can add a pinch of cayenne pepper if you like. Pinch of salt. And just a pinch of pepper. Put to the side real quick. Hollandaise is done. You want to keep it someplace warm. If your holiday sauce does get too thick, go ahead and just add a little bit of hot water. You're good to go. So, just have one. Lastly, we're gonna have, we're gonna start our plate up here pretty soon. So, but we need to get our drink set up for today why everything works together. We're gonna to make mimosas. And also get our water ready for the Eggs Benedict. So like I say, we have a little bit of sparkling wine here. This is a twist cap. Sometimes you may have the champagne as a cork. So if you hold the cork, be careful and slightly uh, loosen the cork and let it out. Don't shoot it because you'll hurt somebody. Just pour a little bit in your glass. If you have a little bit left, I'm going to use some of my water for my egg benedict. Ooh. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of white vinegar. I 
and you have a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper in there. And you're good to go. Now that's ready. We're gonna crack, we're gonna crack in there about four eggs. And you just drop them in there. Don't need to uh, worry about anything. They're gonna cook. Well, don't do it that way, guys, okay? Try one more time. Beautiful. There we go. One hand is still there. So your eggs didn't spread out as much as they normally do when you drop them in water. Why is that? Uh, it just depends on how hot the stuff you have your water going. If you have it boiling, sometimes it can spread out further. Mm. If you don't have it boiling as much as cooked all the way, they won't go as far apart. So it depends on how so you... So just a slight simmer. Yes. Get our plates, guys. So we're going to have it two ways coming up here. So we have our hash. Oh my gosh, that smells amazing. Can you the orange juice out of the... Yeah, of course. Yes. You so wish you were here. So, to finish up the mimosa, orange juice with the sparkling wine, and then if you want the virgin one, there you go, orange juice, a virgin mimosa right there. Have a little drink, because cooking, like I say, should be fun. Perfect. All right, eggs are just about ready to go. Usually about three to five minutes or so. You can kind of move them around a little bit if you want to. I take them and give them a flip. So they both sides kind of cook evenly. They're ready to go. Check your English muffins, and those are all ready. They sort of look like um, like a soft, um, like a, it's like a sunny side up egg right now. But exactly. So like I said, we have the regular way and the, virgin, and the vegetarian way. We have a couple, a few of those right there for me. Okay. There you go. This is oh, yes. easier with that knife. Okay. Do a little bit of spring mixed greens on one and then some tomato. Okay. No, just on one. Oh, on one? Okay. Yeah, because we're going to have the, this one okay. be our, our veggie method here, okay. guys. So then you just take this, like so. And what I'm doing here, too, is I'm making a pocket for the egg. Because sometimes when you have the regular egg, it can be oval, it'll roll around. So you want to have like a little place setting mm -hmm. for it. Egg just about ready to go. So then I take an egg. So what was the vinegar for in the water? The vinegar helps, the vinegar and the wine just help the egg to um, fully cook all the way through. It's just like the method. Uh, you can use, I've seen people just use water, but it kind of adds more flavor and helps the uh, egg white congeal around the yolk better. Mm. So it's like the science method to help the whites cook and the yolk to stay soft and runny. Mm. So, heated some ham up over here. We have that right there. Here we have our other yolk. Bam. We're gonna take a little bit of hollandaise sauce, guys. And just pour it on top. It 
a little bit of paprika. It's gonna come out today. And your green onion that we cut up. Like so. So traditional way right there. The ham, wow. the egg, green onions, breakfast hash potatoes right there. You have our veggie way, you have the spring greens, tomatoes, egg, sauce, and potatoes. So we have the mimosas. We're gonna have a little bit of drink. Have Poffy she come back on the set real quick and stand up with us. Come on. Just having a good time. So this is brunch, real quick and easy. Cooking with the Boga Chef style. Mimosas, alcoholic, and virgin. <laughs> let's have a taste. Yeah, let's have a taste. There we go. Okay, me first? You first. Okay. Guess first. Oh, is there anything you do here in the Retroflex that people can follow you or any activities you have that, that you want to talk about? Um, no. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Okay. It was fun being here. Uh -huh. Okay, let's try it. Okay, okay reveal. You and might see and me the yolk, is, the yolk is runny and what? really good. Do it for That's the veggie one. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Mmm. So you got veggie and regular. Okay. Big, big bite. Oh, there you go. Come on. There you go, chef. Come on, chef. The hollandaise sauce is awesome. Oh, you missed the egg. Oh, <laughs> oh. <chef. laughs> Okay, we have to try again. Mm -hmm. Kat, you gotta redo it. I'm good. Easier. No, no, no. I'm good. Mm -mm. No, get, no. There you go. Mm. Mm. Here. Mm. Let's go. That's good, though. It's very good. Mm. 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 You want some with the ham? Mm-hmm. Mm. Potatoes come out nice, real soft, easy and simple, guys. Mmm. Potatoes are perfect. Next week, mm. we're taking a week off. Uh, unfortunately, I have to work. My boss is going out of town on vacation, so we'll be back the following week with a whole new episode of holiday sides for your Christmas. Anything you want to make, we got you covered. And that date is going to be the 22nd of December, 11.30 a.m., holiday sides. So we're going to stuff our faces, we're going to have some drinks, have a good time, see you next time. Holiday sides, cooking with the Buckeye Chef. Happy holidays to you. Thanks for having me over. Yeah, from my kitchen to yours. Cheers.